Brown sugar. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like dudes, dudes, dudes. I kind of like dudes and dudes and dudes. I kind of like dudes, dudes, dudes. I kind of like dudes and dudes and dudes. I kind of like. Have you ever had mayonnaise with a hot dog? <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> give me, give me just a second. Five minutes up. Anal beans. <laughs> <laughs> This is our intro, dude. Come on, just go with it. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to Try the Goulash. My name is Blake. <laughs> it's Willie over here, and... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's your boy, C-Smooth. Dirk is back! It's Chris, because we weren't joking. Alex is actually deceased. Yeah, he's dead. That guy is dead to us and dead in real life. Yeah, he, he's done. We, yeah, yeah. he's yeah. We, we conversed with him this, this morning and... From the nether realm. Yeah, and it was just bad news. Fuck that guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's a piece of shit, and, uh... We actually renamed this uh, this podcast. What do we name it, Will? By, Tell me. By the goulash. Oh, okay. What about this guy over yeah, here? Yeah, fuck me. Am I right? No. It's still bi. Because okay. all three of us make... we're all bisexual. Yeah, we, exactly. That's why. Kind of like, bi, bi, like B-I. Bi, 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 bagwin. Yep. <laughs> Baby, bi, bi, bi. Yeah, so... Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, it was hard to get in touch with Alex. We had to do a seance. And yeah. speaking of seances, Halloween is upon us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dope ass clouds. Yeah. Have you ever taken a suckle from the teat of a vape? <laughs> <laughs> this week we're talking about Halloween, and I'm fucking excited, guys, for I real. I just did meth. I'm real excited. <laughs> I'm real excited. Why are you excited, Blake? Tell us why you're excited. I'll tell you. It's my favorite fucking holiday. It's my absolute favorite holiday. Okay, well, why is it your favorite you, holiday? You got your priorities fucked up. Yeah, I No, agree. you guys got your priorities fucked up. I'm all about up. Christ, man. See? Because the, because the Lord will rise again, and he was born on that day. Exactly. It's all about the baby Jesus. Yes. Have you ever seen... A dope-ass cloud? <laughs> have you ever seen a mother give birth... Without actually having sexual intercourse, yes. we call that a miracle. immaculate conception. Cr- Chris. We're not talking about and Jesus. That is where Chris and I went to grade school. We are angels for life, and Blake is a fucking oh piece of shit. I'm a Celtic. I like Halloween. I thought, what? You're it's a Celtic. You're a Spartan. Dude. It like started you as a Celtic people. holiday. Oh, you were a okay. Spartan. Here we go. Okay, so why do you like Halloween? Get back to it. Tell me. Well, first, I'll let you know. Christmas is the highest grossing holiday. Halloween's number two. It's fucking... It's right there, boys. What else would compete with that? A shitload of things. Like? Like, Valentine's Day? Easter? Okay, Valentine's Day, worst holiday of... Yeah, of life. Yeah, I'm either, like, I'm either it's suicidal still, or I'm broke, okay? That's and Valentine's it's, Day. It's just like, why, <laughs> why celebrate Valentine's Day... On one day of the year when you can celebrate love every day of the year. Well, I like it. That's you know what, nice. Because you know it's, it's hypocritical. It's oh, just like, here, we go. here I'm going to spoil the shit out of my significant other. And it's like, why can't you do that? I got a question. Like, just throughout the year. Not every single day. Because we're not made of money, Will. Well, I'm not saying I'm made of money. I'm not saying to you do that every single a day. big spender. Will? Oh, God. Will, what's the topic? Is it Valentine's Day? No, I'm just... I don't think it is. It's a tangent, <laughs> bud. It's, it's a not, tangent. It's not Valentine's Day. Okay, it's so fucking Halloween, and it's the Hallows best. Eve. It's the best. Uh, I'll tell you why it's the best. <laughs> tell me why. <laughs> I'll tell you the only reason I like Halloween. Are you ready? Yeah, tell me. Slores. <laughs> yeah, that's the what reason, I was going to say. The reason I like Halloween is because I like to watch females take your favorite Disney characters and just fucking skankify them. Yeah. Like, R-rated. You ever, you ever seen Minnie Mouse's vag? Well, now you have. 
<laughs> no, the reason I like Halloween is because you can watch shitty, scary movies and you oh, have a reason to do so. God, yeah, that's dude, true. that's what I'm saying. The whole holiday is just romanticized to me. Like, I fucking love spooky movies. What Chris just said. I like candy. I well, that's like, the best reason for It Halloween. falls during my favorite season in fall time. No pun intended. Oh, oh, hey, it's oh. the fucking best. I just like it. Uh, it was super nostalgic to me as a kid. Like I always went trick-or-treating as a kid and everything. And I just like the whole the whole vibe of the whole thing. Like Everyone's running around. It's nighttime. There's a full moon. It's kind of spooky. I like kind of spooky things. And there's like this mischievous feeling in the air. The leaves are falling. People are carving jack o' lanterns. I just fucking love it. I love it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna dive into this subject. Yeah, and what ask you got? Bud? A question. <clears throat> it's about Halloween costumes, and there's two parts to this question. Number one, part A. What is what has been your favorite Halloween costume? Like to this day, oh my. part B. Oh, I got that what one. was your favorite costume as a kid? Like your favorite, favorite, favorite. Aren't those costume. like initially yes. the same question? They are essentially the same question, but I want. I'm I have two you, answers. I'm in, give you one of one. Chris, you go okay. first. I gotta think. Okay, so I was Vegeta for Halloween. Oh, oh my God. shit, dude! That win. Uh, I don't know. Probably like. I'm going to say my DBZ fandom took off around eight or nine. Oh, my God. That's, so that's pretty great. I'm going to be honest. My mom created Vegeta's hair. <laughs> yeah. And what a... It was pretty much the like best. she made you a wig? Yeah, but I don't know why she did because I already have the hairline. <laughs> but, yeah, that was my favorite costume. And nice. people asked me why. And I was like, I'm a prince. And they're like, what are you a prince of? And I said, Saiyans. <laughs> That's Dude, nice. I'm just saying, no pun intended. Uh, I'm trying to rack my brain about my favorite costume. I know, to answer part of your question, Will, when I was little, I was the Red Ranger. Uh, Power Rangers? From like the OG Power Rangers. No, and the other Red Ranger. There's like Shut a lot. Shut the fuck up. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, bud. What um, other... <laughs> well, for our audience, I'm just... Maybe they were the stumbling. Oh, Red Ranger? Who, who's the Red who Ranger? Who could be the Red Ranger? I'm, yeah, I'm Power Rangers. I'm specifying for he puts our, out fires. our audience out there. I love you guys. Uh, thanks, Will. That was nice. Um, yeah, the Red Ranger. Uh, just because I was all about him when I was younger. And I remember... I remember I kept that costume, and it would be like... When we're saying Red Ranger, what era are we talking about? Dude, here? OG. 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 I, I don't Jason? know. Yeah, Jason. I don't know, like, not like... We're getting all our Halloween shit mixed up here. When we say Jason, we're talking OG Power Rangers. We're not talking about Hockey Mask. Dude, can I tell you a fun fact about the OG Power Rangers cast? Yeah, tell me. Dude, the Yellow Ranger died in a car accident oh. like two years after that was filmed. Oh, no. You know, the Chinese chick? Yeah, yeah. she was hot. Yeah, I mean, I was all, always about Kimberly, but it's whatever. It's about. <laughs> that's sad. I forget what that's called. Is that like Jungle? No, it's oh, just the Power fuck? Rangers. It's just Power Rangers? No, the next yeah. one was Neo. Dude, bro. I thought Jason was the white one. No. That's See, Tommy. I watched Power Rangers. But Chris I don't is remember. On the yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I Power watched this shit every night. It's because um, he still watches it. Yeah, yeah I, I watch it every night. I liked it so much. I it would be like fucking March, and I would just put my Red Ranger suit on and like run around the house. Yeah, uh, it was pretty great. Uh, growing up, I don't, I don't know, because I'm always. So I've got, I've got a. Uh, an algorithm for my costumes. Oh, um, an algorithm. Now this year, that's a word. It is a word. This year I'm breaking the mold though. Uh I'm being something really specific this year. Normally my code for Halloween is just go generic. You're going to see me. I'm going to be a police officer. I'm going to be a cowboy. I'm going to be a gladiator. Just something generic. I'm never something specific. Um, I know in college I had uh, <laughs> one Halloween where I was a I was a toga guy, like from the Roman Origi- days. Original, dude. No, yeah, yeah, not original at all. But it was like a great Halloween. It was very memorable. Yeah. Um, Did everyone see your cock? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I already know what you're gonna be. You're gonna be Hellraiser, 
And I would love to nail nails into your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty good uh, makeup if you just. Uh... Um, but no, uh, my <laughs> my favorite costume, like the one that got the most buzz. I was in fifth grade. I remember Halloween was rolling around, and I wanted to do something big, so I could like be the cool guy. Okay. Mm-hmm. And all the guys in my grade always talked about going to school because we do like a school parade kind of thing all the guys always talked about dressing up as a girl oh shit yeah you dress up as a girl and but everyone fucking was too much of a pussy they wouldn't do it and I bit the bullet and I was a girl for fifth grade yeah and I was like talk of the town can I can I ask you you one question and started cross that's when my drag life started yeah Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) did you have water you can see me at the club Uh, my name is midnight did you have water balloon tits yeah and I actually my mom made me a fake (laughs) (laughs) no dude I didn't have fake tits that's funny because I was Edward my brother was a girl and he had fake tits I'm pretty sure he used water balloons yeah Yeah. that's great no, I had a blonde wig. <laughs> I had blonde wig. I had a blonde wig. I'm pretty sure I was in a dress, and my mom put like fake nails on me. And after she finished, like I remember this, she like put the last nail on me. I was getting ready to go to school, and I look up, and there's my dad, and he's just <laughs> like, "Good God, what <laughs> happened, <laughs> Jeff?" Uh, but That's yeah, funny. How about you, Will? All right, my favorite as a kid, looking back, I had some good costumes, but uh, it's funny because Chris, um, Blake, and I just discussed this co- Halloween costume. I was stone cold. <laughs> you were? Yes. When? It was like when he was like really popular back in the like 90s. Like just grade school? Yes. This is grade school? And the funny oh, thing was man. I had like a whole costume. <laughs> it was like a kid costume. Stone and cold. I had like the really stretchy pants, <laughs> but super tight at the same time. And I remember I fucking ripped my pants and my ass oh. crack. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. No, it was during the night, luckily, but my mom had to tell me, and I was just like, oh my god, we gotta throw it, yeah, Yeah. so that that was my favorite, if only I was a real real legend, I should have got two fucking beers and chugged them fucking just like Stone Cold did. I'm gonna be honest, one of my costumes one year, I was Peter Pan, and (laughs) this may have been sophomore year of high school, Yeah, I wore tights. Oh no! You can see my dick oh, no. a mile away, dude. I oh, was no. the most. Dude. That's scary. I could have gotten like. Did you know going in? Oh no! Like, no. like came in the mail, and then my lady friend at the time was like, "I'm Tinkerbell. I hope you're ready." And then I literally like. Dude, that's so funny. I could have poked somebody's eye out. Do you still it's... have a scar on your back from the whip? Yes, <laughs> dude. And it stung just as bad this year when it was cracked. So. Also. <laughs> Uh, that's funny as hell, Chris. That's very funny. And my favorite to this date was last year. It was great. It was I, really. Good. I was Guy Fieri. I feel like I wasn't there. Oh my god, were you there, Chris? I don't think, I don't think you were there last it got, year. No, you weren't because you were still in Ch- Chirac. Dude, it got weird. Yeah, Ch- Guy Fieri brought out another dimension of my nine personalities. <laughs> Will faded away, and he came, like, he showed up to the party as Guy. Yes, I was another level. I mean, from what I remember of that night, everyone was <laughs> like, you were an awesome time, but... It was great. Will went don't all really out. remember much. He had the blonde, spiky wig. Yes, I He did. had the black flame shirt. It was, it was great. The funny thing is, and I'm going to share my uh, nowadays Halloween hack... Listen so up, goons. the past couple of years, I've done this. I've bought a Halloween costume. I wear it. I keep those fucking tags on, and then so basically, the last couple of years, I've bought it on Amazon. Right when I get it, I fill out. Uh, I go to the app and fill out. Hey, this doesn't fit me. I need to return it, and I wear it that night. And then like two days pass, and I ship it back. Yeah, and you, you hear that, Amazon? <laughs> you need to arrest this man. Yeah. After you've shit! Your, after you've shit your pants, then you return it. Yeah, exactly. So, Guy Fieri, it was a lot of fun. I grew out 
my actual beard and shaved uh, goatee, and then I had um, with the cost with the wig uh, came a goatee, which obviously I didn't want to wear that one. Mm-hmm. And the old Didn't blonde. You have the soul badge? I had the blonde you did. soul badge. I remember yeah. that now. And that was the most. It was the biggest pain in the ass it was the gross. whole entire night. I remember it kept falling off, and I kept on putting it back on, and I was like sweaty, and this is a good time. So Guy Fieri was. Tell me more. Very fun. Tell I ended me more, up. Tell me more. I almost kissed Blake. <laughs> he got close. It'll probably happen. And I year. also made a new Guy Fieri uh, food invention. I come back. <laughs> Will, we you had know the, party hang on, favors. I gotta pause yeah. you right there. You know the thing about these stories is you're not supposed to tell people. This, I so. don't care though because it's funny. <laughs> you know what I think would be hilarious. What? So we have the Halloween party. Yeah. But before anyone shows up, we actually decorate the whole house to be Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone shows up like, what the fuck? That we're would in, be really We're funny. in sweaters. Yeah. We're like, hey! <laughs> Wait, you guys didn't get the the ugly Christmas sweater party? Will, tell the invitation? audience about your food. So your my food invention. Intoxicated food invention. <laughs> so we had a whole bunch of food. Someone brought some salami. It also was that dead member of the try the goulash's birthday yeah fuck and him. he brought something to the party that shouldn't have been brought and that got me really silly it let's just big. say very very big large yes it was his cock <laughs> okay yeah so um it was that member of try the goulash's birthday we're not speaking yeah. his name anymore yeah it's not deserving so his girlfriend Lauren brought. We'll say her name. Yeah, <laughs> she brought a chocolate cake, just like what are those? The it was like the the um, the ho hos. Oh yeah, and mm. basically, I took the cake, I took the salami, and I fucking mixed it together, and I ate it, and it was the best thing of that <laughs> it's night. Gross, it dude. was it's gross. Looking back, very gross, but I got I it on was, video. If we ever hit a million subs, I'll post it. Yes, and Dude, it's my ne- birthday today. She's my like, neck dude. was not working that night because I was <laughs> woo. Uh, yeah, I love Halloween, and I love Halloween. I like partying every now and then, but Halloween parties is like now that I'm older, that's like my thing. It's funny. Um, it's probably my favorite, like party celebration of the year mm-hmm. um do you guys like spooky stuff how do you feel about the spooky stuff during halloween like like spooky stuff as like in haunted houses or all of it yeah like do you guys uh, like that stuff or no i'm really not a big fan of like scary movies okay. honestly i i i think they're a waste of time in my opinion you don't, you don't like I know what you did last summer. Are you? You don't fucking... like Leprechaun. <laughs> you don't like Scream. Guys, no. The JK. Grudge is the best scary JK. movie. Oh <laughs> my god! If you want to talk about scary movies, you want to talk about movies that have scarred me. My dad took me to the movie theater when I was thirteen, and we saw The Ring. And I shit my pants. Like, I was so scared. The only thing I did in my pants during the ring was jazz because Naomi Watts, sh- <laughs> shout out to you. <laughs> you are a vixen. Dude, at 13, I was scarred. I went home that night. This is a true story. I'm not making this up for dramatic effect. I went home that night uh, to my mom's. I was home alone. We had cable. I turned it on. There was snow on the TV. I kicked it over. True story. <laughs> Scarred me. Scarred me. Um, but yeah, I dig that stuff. I like spooky I like spooky movies. I like the spookiness of the holiday. It's called white noise, dude. Otherwise everyone else is gonna be like cocaine. It's called snow, dude. Okay. Okay. Um You're ugly. There's one thing during the holiday season I can't do because I'm too much of a sissy. Jack off. I've never been to a haunted house. What? Ever. I've never I've been, been to them once. To them as a kid, but eh, I'm not about that life. I don't want to. Why not? Oh, I've been to multiples. I, I love did, that show. Like, you? What yeah. were the ones in Columbia called? Scary? It's Fright Fest. There was Spooky Tookie. <laughs> yeah. There was, there was another. Necropolis. 
Necropolis, and there was another one because it was on the way to CMU. I think it was Spooky Tooky. Yeah. <laughs> spooky. You've never been no. to Spooky Tooky. That's not a real thing. Spooky Dicky. Yeah, I can't handle chairs. that. I like I like scary movies, but like I'm weird. Like I get so immersed in a situation, like. If I'm in a haunted house, I can't like tell myself that it's not real. So if you go to a drag show, you can't tell yourself that. You're oh not yeah, here. I'm like, look at these ladies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for real, I I'm too scared to do it. Now on the flip side, when I was younger, when I was in grade school, I was in a great society called Boy Scouts, and in Boy Scouts one year for the fall time. Um, in Memorial Park, shout out J-Town, there was a spooky walkthrough. Like, they set up a, a basically, it was basically like a haunted house walkthrough on the trails. And our platoon got uh, picked to do a section of it. <laughs> give, give, me that, give me that dope ass club. What is that? Like, cinnamon roll? No, that's that Dude. cream brulee, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> Does it not... Smell like a fucking porta potty. No, it smells like a bakery. Well, just because you fucking live in one doesn't mean everything smells. Oh, like a bakery. oh hey, uh, dude. Okay, I'll give you props. Let me finish my fucking dude. story, you shits. Okay, dude. so you, you're pol- dude. dude. Kiss me, dude. I'm done. The platoon had a section of this haunted house, and basically, a bunch of us kids just dressed up. Like my parents just took me to Walmart, and they're like, "Pick out the scariest mask." And I was like this. Um, <laughs> were you were like you were laughing like that, dude. Yeah, no, I picked out this mask that was like an alien uh, that had big fangs like this and big like eyes, had a big hood, and there was this bush I would get behind, and like these like all the people would like walk down the trail, and after they would pass me, I would like get up behind them, and then I would just scare them. I scared. I freaked out so many people that night, and being on the other side of it was great. Like, if I didn't have I'll a give career... You, give you a rush? Yeah. If I didn't have a career, I would solely just work in haunted houses. It would be awesome. A sad man's life. Yeah, dude. Or a happy man's life. Uh, He's got to wait, like, 11 months. <laughs> He's like, damn it, it's out of season. All right. I'm going to switch this up, and we're going to go back to childhood. What what did you guys do on like Halloween night? What were your traditions? Did you have any? Okay, I'm gonna sound like an absolute tool here for a second, but lay it on us. What you got? And Blake, I know you're gonna appreciate this. Tell me. But we had a Halloween on a school night one night in high school. Mm -hmm. So I literally did nothing. But turn all the lights off and play Res Four. Oh um, my god! <laughs> like, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm gonna be honest. I, I just feel like that was like one of my best Halloweens, which is really sad. I'm yeah. so happy. It's kind of dope though. At I the mean, same that's time. a great Halloween. Yeah. I don't. I don't really hate on stuff like that. Like it's Halloween's kind of like now that we're older. Obviously, we're not going trick or treat anymore. So it's kind of like a wait. S- wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I still go. I go for the cr- free candy, dude. Here's and to touch. Oh, sorry. Here's the. Uh, <laughs> The, to touch what, Will? Oh, Tell the to touch your willy, dude. Um, what? Here's the life hack. If you're uh, not very tall, Chris, you can't pull this off. I'm sorry. You're Fuck. too tall. Uh, you it just sucks. wear a mask, and you're like, hey. <laughs> it sucks being a D1 athlete. You know yeah, what I mean? Dude, Six, I, five. Know. I know. It's tough. All right, so guys. What what are we doing on Halloween night yeah. as kids? Tell well, me. Let's I'll, go in. I'll tell you. Dine my in, babe. my mom would just uh, my mom would always dress up. Mm-hmm. She was a real sport about it. That's probably why I like it so much. Uh, Big Shout Jeff. Dot. Big Jeff. He's not going out trick or treating. No, no, that's not his not. scene. That's not his scene. He he probably was a person that would turn his lights off, dude. So he wouldn't dude, have to give no, out candy. No, my dad. Okay, my dad. I gotta give. Big Jeff, some props here. He probably got the good candy. Dude, I got to, like, for real shout out my dad. He was cool. Um, So my dad would never be about going out. Like, that would always be mom's thing. But there was one year my dad... So my dad likes spooky stuff, too. Like, he likes horror movies. That's probably why I like them. Anyway, growing up, he... uh, We, at our childhood house, we had these big bushes... Like outside of our front door, and my dad, uh, 
like found like a Freddy Krueger sweater and he like got basically my dad made a Freddy Krueger outfit and it was so legit. He had a he had like a workshop in the basement and he made uh, a Freddy Krueger glove. Like it's legit. I, he still has it. It's so legit. He's actually a mass murderer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He actually is Freddy. Yeah, I took over the role. I've killed twenty people. Okay. Um, no, he. Um, anyway, he would like set the bowl of candy out, and he would hide in the bushes and like jump out. It was funny. Um, but you no, know, my mom would dress up and like take me out. Uh, Dot was always like a witch. She was a really good witch. And uh, I thought she still is a witch, dude. Yeah, she is. She, uh, those brooms aren't for sweeping. <laughs> I'm done. Hard to whip your ass, boy. Uh, I never did anything like super traditional. It was just going out, trick or treating kind of thing. Later in high school, it got a little more mischievous. But, uh, yeah. yeah. And that? <coughs> Chris, what about you? Do you have any traditions? Oh, okay. yay. I didn't have any traditions. I would just go trick or treating. Yeah. And then I would just watch Halloween Town on repeat. Oh my <laughs> god, Halloween Town. Fucking that was a. gonna be one of my questions was <laughs> which we'll address that in a second. But traditions it was funny because we did this every single year. So we the neighborhood I lived in was a very good neighborhood to go trick or treating. So we would invite like our closest like family friends over and obviously they had kids as well and we'd all go trick-or-treating um, throughout my neighborhood and the funny thing is like my mom she would always make either chili okay like a regular chili white chili which if you have not oh had white God. chili is very good instead of using beef you use chicken and you use um I'm like hungry white beans Dude, Jesus very very good um or my mom would also make clam chowder uh and Shana. this is like really random but i don't know about you guys but i we my family we used for like our halloween bags we didn't have like a bucket we used pillowcases never heard of that before dude that's pillowcases, weird man yeah, yeah what Pillowcases, or is it when pe- is it pillow? Like? <laughs> <laughs> it's pillow. It's both. In spite of Alex, yeah. Oh wait, uh, in spite of the guy, we don't talk about. That's gonna be a cat call. Um, the people that I always saw using pillowcases was like fucking shithead teens. <laughs> nice. So I guess that was you, Will. Well, I went as a young age, and I. What would you guys do with your candy? Fucking flush it. it down the toilet. Yeah, throw that shit. At people. <laughs> we, I would come back, sort it all out. <clears throat> would, did you guys trade any your candy? If like you really liked a certain kind of candy, you'd Here's be like, thing. "Hey, Blake, I'm gonna give you two of these." Dude, my mom there was no Reese's fast breaks. For... There was no trading. I was the oldest. My sister was three years younger than me. I just. Conquered. Okay. I just took what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Shout out Holly. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> like, seriously. Dude, did your moms ever inspect the candy before you could eat it? My mom did that all the time. My dad was so paranoid. He's like, there's razor blades in that Dude, candy. <laughs> see, you think this is a joke, but I actually got served caramel apples with razor blades. No, you I'm, didn't. Yeah, Are you shitting me? Is that real? Riverside, shout out, baby. You know we out here. Is that real? The old 105 It seriously had razor blade yeah, in it? Yeah, dude. What? Riverside Drive? That's fucked up. Interesting. Yeah, this witch came up to us and was like, <laughs> and like, Oh. She was like in the street handing it out? Yeah, like she handed out like a tray of them. That's fucked That's up, fishy. dude. People are fucked up. There are. Also I don't also saw a kid shit. get kidnapped on that street. So let's just say it's a good thing we moved. <laughs> oh my god! Hell's Kitchen, yeah. Sri Lanka. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, yeah, inspect your candy this year, uh, and don't hand out meth. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. It's Pop Rocks, kids. Um, okay. What was your favorite uh, Halloween candy? You, I hate questions hang on, like no, this. No, hang on, Will. <laughs> You get done trick or treating. You take off your fucking uh, cold stone costume. 
You dump out your pillowcase. Well, first I what smash some beers. What do you? <laughs> what do you eat first? first? It's all. It's all over your bed. First what do he you unbuttons eat? his jorts. Dude, the funny thing was, it was like a mesh. I had like they were like mesh, mesh jeans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jeggings. and that yeah, that's exactly what they were. Like they were jeggings. And Back in the 90s. I I ripped them down my ass crack. <laughs> that's hot. Same thing happened to me at Nam. <laughs> okay, See you, two dude. weeks in a row with the Nam joke, dude. Yeah, Recycle them, dude. He had a Nam joke last week. <laughs> Called you out, Shout fuck out boy. To our veterans. <laughs> you don't know what it's like being in them jungles. <laughs> yeah, um, but favorite candy. We're all like, yeah, ah! we're entitled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're entitled. Yeah, I make Nam jokes because I wasn't there. <laughs> uh, bring some, the, bring some controversy to the pot. <laughs> what's the best candy? What's the best? What do you eat first? Well, you're probably eating some shitty like a uh, little. Fun size Twizzler. Like fucking six no. lets, you sick fuck. Dude, Dude it's, fuck off. Six they're lets good. Are good. Those are so they're good. good. They're good. So they're a nasty. very underrated candy. No, no. You know what's a nasty <laughs> candy? And I'm going to call this person out because he likes them. But I'm not going to call his name because he's that fuck boy. If it's black dead. licorice, I'm on board. It's fucking good and plenties. I hate that shit. Ah, okay. That's good and plenty are duh! I'll eat them. I'll enjoy eating them, but they're going to be eaten last. Like, I'm not eating them first. Yeah, no. This is going to be it... lame as fuck, but I'll tell you what I eat first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I eat one thing, and that's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Rim job. No, I'm all about the double bubble, man. I just, I'm obsessed. That's, with that's a good one. And I'd swallow that shit and just poop it out in <laughs> seven years. What a mess that was. Yeah. Well, oh, God. Ever double since... bubble's great. Dude, did you ever have the flavored, like, apple or grape? <sighs> I mean, those oh, are good, yeah. but it's not as good as your The OG. I need the that only... powdered sugar. Yeah. The it's only great. bad thing about double bubble in any, like, super bubble was the exact same. The flavor goes away in like five minutes. This is one Dude. thing though. I would pick the texture over the flavor. Oh, totally. Oh, you, can, you buy some it's fucking, great. you buy some Hubba Bubba and you're just like, what am I chewing? Yeah. Dude, Hubba Bubba is good. Hubba Bubba is it good, but good, like but the watermelon nothing. It it's looks like, like it's like poop. squishier. That's that's shit. Dude, I'll tell you the best kids gum. Are you ready for it? Did bubble you ever tape? have the chew? The like shredded the gum. The chew? bubble tape. No, it's not tape. It's oh, like comes in a pouch. What is yes. you not play Big baseball? League Chew, dude. To, dude, Big League Chew. Fucking, that's the it's best. It's good. That's the best. It's, it's good. It's literally double bubble button strands. It yeah. is. That's why it's the best because you can just fucking. Baseball like <laughs> bubble gum is by far the best when it comes to texture. I would agree with that. Favorite for me, first thing I'm going for is probably something sour. I'm eating the Reese's. I know, because yeah, that's why I said, Reese's, I'm, I'm, I'm trading you two egg. fast breaks. Good, but I don't know. Did you guys, okay, this is something from my neighborhood. Did you have, like, that house that gave out, like, yes, a, the best thing ever? In fact, when I used to go trick-or-treating, this was when I got a little older, like, eighth grade. We, we actually went trick-or-treating, like, freshman year of high school just to be shitheads. Um, we like wore masks, um, but it was in, uh, it was actually in Ian's neighborhood, neighborhood, but it was, I was with George C. Yeah. Yeah. That neighborhood, dude, that neighborhood was great. Well, it's a very great, very wealthy neighborhood. Very wealthy. Well, like give the audience some examples. What were some of your, uh, there was a couple houses that gave out it whole like Candy king bars. size snicker bars yeah. oh my god it was awesome there were a couple out there was one house that gave out there was one house in the neighborhood though that was they they need to like get the fuck out of here they would try to do like the healthy thing they're like here's an apple there's no caramel or anything yeah and we fucking like threw it in the bushes we were, like, threw it at the <laughs> door but like what the fuck this isn't candy I would say there were two houses in my neighborhood. For some reason, they did this. Um, and I know one one of the houses was because the guy worked at Dr. Pepper. Okay. So they would give out a can of soda, and that was, like, awesome. Cause that's, kind of a, that's kind of like a, 
Like, if I got that, I would be happy, but I would also kind of be like, nah. Oh, I loved it because, number one, growing up as a kid, my parents drank soda, and they would always get diet soda. Mine, too. And they would never get regular soda. God, so when we got that, regular... When come we to got find regular, out years later, aspartame gives you cancer. So yeah. come on, parents. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, you guys know what candy I fucking didn't like? You know those fucking apple caramel lollipops? Oh, Get the fuck out of here. God, Blake. Those you're nasty as hell. I, I agree, like dude. I don't like them. The only thing I don't like about them are it or I don't know. <laughs> So, why I don't like them? <laughs> Jesus, I can't talk. Rafskin. <laughs> Okay. Yep. Okay. So they get stuck in your fucking teeth like no fucking other, and it's they the do. worst pain. It's the worst ever. It's like, oh, I'm gonna try to bite down like on a, for example, on a blow pop. It like breaks, and you bu- that's what go I'm into fucking saying. The bubble gum, but I gotta go on a rant. this is why I don't. I guess I. I guess I don't really like them. I like the the flavor, but the flavor's good. Can it's, I change it's my what? answer real quick? Okay. Yeah, go. I really fucked up when I said double bubble because yeah. mine's gonna have to be blow pops. Oh, it's like, a great nothing's one. Nothing's better. It's than, a great like, one. It's like should I swish my mouth ma- mouth around with some like razor blades or <laughs> should I just like eat a blow pop? Yeah, yeah, dude, blow pop. I mean, blow pops are basically like double bubble with a sucker. Mouth yeah. shred. It's great. Also. Um, Dude, speaking of blow pops, though, I would get, like, regular lollipops. I would get blow pops. I'd always suck on it a little bit, and then I'd fucking bite that shit down. <laughs> um, but then I was I grew up a little bit, and I got one of these fucking caramel apple pops, and I was like, oh, I'll just do the same thing. Bite down on that, pulling molars out. Yeah, like, it was exactly. the worst. It, it was the worst. Was, like... Besides going to a dentist, if you want to lose a tooth, yeah, you get one you of those. Buy one of those and pull. Yeah. That or a sugar baby. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. Dude. Those, those are good, though. I used to be obsessed with They're those. good. You know what? A Halloween candy that just makes me, and I've discussed <laughs> this with, yeah, makes me want to fucking. It, it this Halloween candy belongs in a fucking trash can, <laughs> and it's and it's fucking candy corn. Hey, you. candy you corn. Fuck you. Will. Hate it. It's either you love it or you hate it. You know There's no in between. Like, eh, I'll, I'll like eat it to this day, but it's just like it deserves to be in a trash. You know what's can. better than candy corn? Pumpkins, candy corn pumpkins, the big ones. Shut up. Dude, those big. are better. That's like eating two at the same time. I also, hate candy corn. Side note about candy corn. I love it. Side note, chocolate candy corn, get the fuck out of here. Also, you want a master stomach ache? Eat candy corn. <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna do it tonight just because I want a stomach it's ache. It's just sugar sludge. That That's all it is. Yeah. Well, another shitty candy out there. You guys remember bottle caps? Oh my Dude. god, those are nasty. Throw yeah. those in the trash. <laughs> Throw them away. Fucking like bottle caps. Throw Fuck them away. Them. Here's a candy that I used to despise as a young one. Then I had an absolute like ravenous Vendetta. addiction. Ra- no, ravenous addiction. Raisinets? And, no. I love raisins. I know you do. <laughs> no, but I can't eat these anymore what ever is it? again. Swedish? Swedish fish. Whoa! I used to buy them by like the fucking. Five pound like, bag. By the pound. <laughs> <laughs> I could just I can't even look at them anymore. <laughs> just burnt that one out, dude. Uh, there's some candy that I've done that with. Red vine, <coughs> um, licorice. I've done that with. Ew, 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 ew. I don't ew, mind that. Um, do you guys ever do anything uh, mischievous on Halloween? Growing yeah, up, yeah. There were when I got older, we would. Hide on my front porch and we'd scare little kids. That's fun. Yeah. I did that shit too. TP at a house one year. That was a rush. We would, after like, back in the day, after we went trick-or-treating, we would always play like flashlight tag or hide and go seek. Dude, and that yes. was awesome because it was extra yes. spooky that night because there was just a whole uh, bunch yes. of people Dude, okay. running around. I got to pause you right there. Okay. Exactly. Pause me. Pause ex- me. Kiss me first. Ex- <laughs> oh my. Exactly what you just said. Like, it was spookier that night. That's the that's the thing. Like whatever that is, 
That's what I like. Okay. That's the There's feeling There's like an of eeriness to yes! it. That's the feeling of Halloween. That's what I fucking love. I love that. Well, I love you, dude. dude so let's, let's go get married. to the courthouse. <laughs> okay. Chris, well, guys, that, this is the end, and we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I uh, TP the house one year. That was fun. Um, and then later in high school, like mid high school, we got real into ding dong ditching. And you badass, were, dude, dude. Dude, you're fucking, you are a specimen. Stupid shit, I tell you. But you want to talk about a rush? Whew. Ding dong ditch, yeah. Yes, it, it is, is a rush. It is. It is a rush, especially if you ding dong, and we would always do this, if you ding dong ditch someone that doesn't want to be ding dong ditched. Like, we we would Lights go out, out. Yeah, we'd go out in high school. <laughs> we'd find the house that had their light out, and we'd be like, bingo. Gonna God, ding dong. God, you assholes. Dude, they would come out, and I would be behind a bush. Like, they literally just had to step, like, 15 degrees to the right, and they would see me. I'm just sitting there. I'm like... Oh, God. Yeah. Speaking of ding-dong ditching, I've always wanted to do this, and it comes from, uh, surprisingly, an Adam Sandler movie. Anal? <laughs> yeah, that too. Anal no. Sandler? <laughs> okay. The fact that you watch an Adam Sandler movie, you should no Dude, this is it. like, you, this, this is, is a 90s. classic. Yeah. This is fucking They're Billy like, Madison. Billy, no. dude. It's one no. of those flaming boots again, Fred. Don't put it out! <laughs> I fucked that up. You get out there and you find that fucking door! <laughs> Don't put it out with your boots again! If I could commit Tw- suicide to <laughs> one visual... He called the shit poo. That's like the only Adam Sandler movie oh I like. I would rather and eat- I fucked up a couple of those lines that I just that just came out of my mouth. I'd rather and- eat my own cream. My hit him. I do that on the regular. Yeah, eat I just... my cream. Slide my legs behind my head and oh talk my. in my go show. Eat my rim. <laughs> Eat my rim. <laughs> if anyone's oh. seen ba- we need to Wild record Wild these. Country. We need to re- like videotape our pods. The O Show. You guys are missing it. Yes, you guys are missing it. So. I'm naked. <laughs> we literally all are, so. Yeah, every time. It's a, No, it's not, it's not every time. It's just a new tradition when... Dirk Diggler comes in. Yeah, after Alex left, we're just like, thank God. Yeah, we. It's just a, f- a very better vibe in the in the room in general. Okay, guys, I'm gonna switch it up a bit. What you got? And it's not. I don't want to know your favorite scary movie. I want to know your favorite Halloween movie because there's a lot out there. Oh. And I okay. want you to. Okay, there's give two. It to me. There's two types here. There is Blake has grown up Halloween movies. And there is... I mean, I think that's the only Halloween movie. No, you're fucking wrong. And then there's, like, it's Disney Channel weekend Halloween season. Well, yeah, that's the only Halloween movie out there. Um, <laughs> let me answer these right now, because okay. I'm already ready. Go. What you got? As a youngster, don't look under the bed. Dude! Oh! <laughs> you stole mine. You that. stole that's mine. An absolute classic. That Dude, is the a good boogie, one. That, like, movie boogie actually man. scared me. It was kind of intense. When yeah. I was little. But that, uh, Halloween Town, always a classic. Ex- well, I shouldn't say always a classic. The first maybe like two, they were good. I'm down for the first eight. And then after that, <laughs> yeah. it's like Land Before Time, dude. How <laughs> many <laughs> Halloween Towns? Dude, they're like Hall- four, Halloween, <laughs> Halloween Town College. And after that, Halloween Town Tax Season. Like, it was just like, <laughs> Halloween <what>? Town <laughs> Sex... Okay. Halloween Town was. <laughs> I was gonna. Yeah, yeah we're not yeah, going there. Say it, dude. <laughs> we're not uh, going there. Those were great. There was also. Um, Can I say one thing also just what? about Halloween Town? It's late on me. The kid in that Kill movie. Bar. The, yeah, no, the guy, in, like the main kid in that movie, the it the, was a the chick. guy. It was I know, a chick. but the guy is what I'm talking about. Like the, the brother? brother. That guy. The is nerdy maybe one. the ugliest motherfucker <laughs> I've ever seen he's in my a goblin. life. Like those, like people you. Would love to just. I'm gonna have to look up a picture of him. I dude, smell what the rocks he's cooking. A rock bottom. I would totally drop that guy. Dude, I have a pretty young little sister, and she is That's like the same face. Yeah, yeah. She actually looks like him. No, um, she's growing up doing stuff like this. Ah, and there was a fucking Halloween Town was like Halloween Town High. Oh god, Garbo, just absolute trick. shit. Uh, what was the girl's name? Was it Marnie? Marnie. Marnie. Oh, 
Um, yeah, it was a classic. Honestly, like Disney movies, Disney, I never fucking watched Disney Channel ever as a kid. Never fucked with it. I was always Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network kind of guy. Never fucked with Disney Channel until it was Halloween season. You didn't watch Chip and Dale? No. You're a piece oh of my shit. God, I watched dude. Even Stevens. That was it. There that was the only Disney, Disney Channel shows. thing. But but around Halloween time, I was locked on Disney Channel. Fucking Don't Look Under the Bed. Don't. Halloween Town. They had Hocus under, Pocus. That's Hocus my Pocus, favorite. Dude, that's, that's my what I'm fucking saying. favorite. That's not a Disney Channel movie. But they Hocus would always Pocus? play it on that's Disney, Disney Channel. Channel. They would play it on Did, Disney, yeah, doesn't it? Disney Channel. I know. Movie. Yes. You son of a gun. Do you guys remember the one with the mummy? It was called Under Wraps. <laughs> was that a... Di- <laughs> I think I do remember that. Yeah, no, I do. It was about... I actually think the fucking kid, the ugly goblin you were just talking about, was in that movie as well. Um. Yeah, it was great. That was a good one. Where the... the um... Okay, so I'm going to answer the second part of my question. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, ready? What else mm-hmm. you got, baby? You, I'm ready. ready. House of Wax. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking God. The one with Paris Hilton. Dude, when she gets okay. decapitated, I was not only aroused, I was also cheering. Yeah. No, I'm going to have to go. Clapping with a boner. Yes. <laughs> Fuck. Um, no, my favorite scary movie is The Shining, for sure. I was going to say. It's that's without a doubt. That's a yeah. great one. That's a great... Like... I I like watching new scary movies that come out because there's like some pretty good ones um, that have came out in like the last decade um, that I can't think of right now. It follows. That was poop, a good one. Poop. You didn't like it? No, I didn't see it. That's good. Um, what was that one movie with? Uh, was it Mark Wahlberg? The Fog? No. What was? It? It I was mean, like The Fog some, is a movie. It, wasn't that like the worst movie ever made? Dude, the, there's. It was a, a remake. Lot of bad, scary it was a movies made. It was a remake. The Fog is like a movie from like I want to say like seventies or eighties. That one's Maybe fucking it good. It was Matt Damon. I can't remember who it was. I don't know. If you're talking about The Fog, they remade it, and it was absolute shit. <laughs> also, if you want to talk about like, if any genre has bad movies, horror is the king. Like, there is a fucking plethora of shitty horror movies out there. Yeah, there are a lot. Um. But no, I like watching new horror movies. Um, but around Halloween season, I always watch the classics. I usually watch The Shining. That's probably my favorite. That's which a classic, dude. That's, it's so good. That's one like scary movie I actually enjoy watching. It's good. Um, I usually watch the OG Halloween. That one's good. So slow. I like it's Poltergeist. Long. It's good, but it's just so slow. Steven dude. Spielberg's Poltergeist. That one's money. Dude, me and uh, Will, you're you're gonna be in the dark here, but me and Ian just watched Phantasm yesterday. Yeah, dude, it was such a piece of shit. <laughs> it was so bad. Oh my god, it was god. so bad. Yeah, I'm in the dark. I'm gonna leave now. Um, but Thank no, God, now I like really get down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> I like watching all the classics. I'm trying to think of another classic. I usually watch OG Nightmare on Elm Street. That one's good. The thing, dude. Honestly, that's that's like a contender. Like John Carpenter's the thing. I know there's been like six of them. John Carpenter's uh, is probably a contender against The Shining. That one is very good. Although, if I'm watching a scary movie, I'm really not big on like oh <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I inhaled. <laughs> Chris just blew the nick nick in Dude, my face. I um, smell it. Her name's Sasha. Sasha. <laughs> uh, fucking, I usually, I'm like nicked out. I can't even think of it now. <laughs> That's that good yeah. underground shit, cuz. Uh, that's it. Dude, yeah, that's the kid. Is this? No, is that the kid? No, from, that's not him. From Halloween Town. No, it's not. It's Isn't not it? Him, I hate no. you so much, dude. Show Chris. Like, dude. Show Chris. Hocus Pocus. Not Hocus Pocus. Pocus. Fuck you. Go to Under Wraps. It's not him. Is that the kid? It's not him. No, it's I not promise him. Fuck. You. All right. Anyway, I'm um, pretty sure that kid's in. Uh, what is he's that? In something. He's in the Sandlot. Um, I don't, I don't like slashers. I usually don't like a bunch of gore, but the thing is fucking my favorite. That one's good. You don't like Psycho? 
Psycho's not a slasher, dude. Mine's got a date with a vampire. I oh my god. That. Yeah, I <laughs> never saw that Don't one. Don't look under the bed. Halloween Town. Yeah, see. God, yeah. they look similar. They look kind of similar. I don't remember Mom's... Go back down to Mom's Got a Date that, with a Vampire. That Let movie me see is that a shit. classic. I kind of remember that. Maybe. There's Do Phantom of the Megaplex. Fuck guys. yeah, that, dude. That was yes. a great one. What else you got um, on here? This is a good list. Blake Peaks all of a sudden. No. Under God, Wraps. Hard. The Scream Team? I don't remember that uh, one. Let me yeah. see a picture. Dude, can we, no. can we please watch... Mom's it's a Got smart Peaks. house as a Halloween movie. Dude, that... All all Disney movies outside of the Halloween season it's are a, horror movies. Dude, Johnny Tsunami is <laughs> a horror movie. You didn't know that? <laughs> yeah, dude. Now you see it. Don't look at the Irish. That. Hey, look at me in the eyes. Uh-huh. We should totally watch Mom's Got a Day with a Vampire. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, it's an absolute banger. Tower of Terror. What a flick. Wouldn't ride it at Disneyland. That was awesome. Too scared. So fun. Halloween Town High. That's the one I was Twitches. Me, Fuck that. Oh my, okay. Hollow- the Return to Halloween Town. That one was okay. Calabar's Revenge. Dude, what's the one where the guy's nose is huge? And he has like his like red hair is like poofed down to here. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Here is I it come. a Disney movie? It's, a, it's from a Halloween Town movie. Some red haired guy? I think it's Halloween Town I think High. it's a, no, it's, yeah, I think it is the second one. It's the second or the third one. They're all... They all run together. What's the one where Calabar's in the fucking movie theater? That's the, the first one. Dude, that one, oh, it's so good. Under Wraps, dude. That was a classic. It was good. It I was a good one. About that it one. was a good one. Uh, Phantom of the Megaplex. I also want to rewatch that one. Dude, Mom's got a date with a vampire. We have to <laughs> Chris watch Chris is on it. lock. We have to watch Chris Halloween Town lock. 2, Calabar's Revenge. So there was four Halloween Towns. Uh, so by four, you mean 16, dude. There's by the shit. By four. Okay. If you're going out trick-or-treating, check your candy for razor blades. Check your candy for druggies. Check. And uh, have a fun night. If you do something mischievous... Let us know. Don't get caught. And uh, leave a comment about your best Halloween costume. Uh, and we're going to, in a couple days. We're throwing a rager. We're going to throw a Halloween party. It's been a couple, it's been a tradition for three years now since we've been in Kansas City. And <laughs> we, uh. Wow. Okay, yeah, seriously. Was, this is we have a Halloween rad, costume. Bro. Party. Wrap it up and... at the dog bark, dude. Seriously. Uh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't so, a dog bark, dude. It was a. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> it was a difference. It should have been the Rick Ross. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. End it now, please. <laughs> All right. So have fun on Halloween. It's been real. It's been. Love spooky. you, dude. Wait, wait. I want Chris to give the send off. He gave a good one last week. Chris, what you got to say? Get in here. Come on, Dirk. Finish Come on, off. Dirk. <laughs>